Welcome to Skyline Park, located in Napa, California. Skyline Park has more than 25 miles of trail, encompassing 850 acres in this world-famous wine-growing region. I'm Chris Corsello, and you're watching Episode 3 of my series, Day Tripper, Skyline Park in Napa, California. Stick around for a few minutes as we take a closer look, and I'll share with you the hike which will let you see some of these sites for yourself. Even though vineyards have a beauty of their own, it's nice that there is a place you can go to in Napa to see its natural beauty. Skyline Park offers tremendous views of the Napa Valley and in the springtime the wildflowers are everywhere. Life is truly abundant in this place. Skyline Park is primarily used for hiking, biking, equestrian, archery, and disc golf. It also includes an RV park and campsites. Additionally, Skyline Park is the home to the Martha Walker Native Habitat Garden, which showcases over 400 native species. The trails are well marked and plenty of picnic tables and benches inhabit the park as well, so be sure to pack a lunch. There's even an outhouse part way to Lake Marie. Actually, that's an old picture. This is what it looks like now. The Napa community has found many uses for this park. Don't go away yet. Still to come in this video. Recommended hikes, tips for mountain bikers, a secret not shown on the park map, and a special reward for viewers who watch all the way to the end of the video. But first, a bit of history and of course, more wildflowers. Skyline Park is located in the southern part of Napa on land that was originally part of the Napa Asylum for the Insane, opened in 1875. Dams were built to create man-made lakes on the property, which served as a water source for the facility. In 1924, it was renamed the Napa State Hospital for the Mentally Ill. The State Hospital used the land for both recreational purposes and agricultural purposes. In 1979, the state decided that it no longer needed the land. A group of people from the community in Napa wanted the space to be used as a park and formed the Skyline Park Citizens Association. Eventually, the state leased the land to the County of Napa, which then subleased it to the Skyline Park Citizens Association. The park officially opened to the public on April 5, 1983, and now has over 30,000 visitors per year. Someone once told me that these stone walls were built by Chinese immigrants in the 1890s. I don't know if it's true, but it would certainly be consistent with the history of California. Remnants of a gold rush cabin can be found at Skyline Park. And of a former crematorium. Also what's commonly known as miner's lettuce. This is my father, Dan Corsello. Like father, like son. I'm not the only one in the family that likes to take pictures of wildflowers.
Now, suggested trails for hikes and bikes. For beginning hikers, I suggest hiking the trail to Lake Marie. It's 2.3 miles to the lake and 768 feet of elevation gain, according to my tracking software. The return trip on this trail is almost completely downhill for a total distance of 4.6 miles. For the mountain bikers, this is actually a pretty decent way in as well. It's a steady uphill almost the entire way. But on the way out, definitely take a single track as there's a lot of gravel on this road. The hike I most recommend, I don't have the exact mileage for, but it's about six and a half miles. Start on the lower Skyline Trail, or take the Buckeye or Skyline proper. They're both very nice. They'll eventually connect to the Skyline Trail, follow it past the lake, and return on the Chaparral Trail, which then connects to Marie Creek Trail. Marie Creek Trail will eventually cut back to Marie Lake Road, where the loop is completed. For the advanced hiker, go ahead and add the Tudor Loop to your hike, and then return on the Thatcher Rim Rock Trail. But be prepared to climb Sugarloaf Peak at an elevation of 1,630 feet. Skyline Park is special to me because I grew up in Napa and it opened when I was a kid. I hiked there quite a bit when I was a teenager and when I got to college I went back and took my friends mountain biking there. So I've enjoyed and appreciated this park for decades and I hope you will too. Still got like a mile to go and my phone already made a video of this trip. <laughs> that is so funny. These are pictures I took like in the last hour or so. <laughs> now for the secret I promised earlier. Well, it's only really a secret for people who've never been. There is a connecting trail between the end of Lake Marie Road and Skyline Trail. It's not shown on the map. This allows you to hike a little further around to the far end of the lake. As for the reward, I'm posting a couple of maps for you to download. One is just a map of the park itself. Another is a map including the recommended hike. You'll find the link down below in the description. As always, it's a matter of respect. Pack out what you pack in. All the pictures, videos, and drone shots were taken by me over the last five years. Except, of course, for the two historical photos of the state hospital. I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button and if you want to see the next hiking video that I do on Moore Creek Park, also in Napa, I'll put a link there and in the meantime it will have a link to a teaser trailer. Check out a couple of my other videos over here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.